you cannot scale the enterprise into an era where AI and ML dominate the demand cycle without moving squarely into the heterogeneous compute world. And so years ago at Dell, we made that move. That's why we built the dense acceleration servers. That's why we invested in companies like Graphcore. That's why we work closely with AMD and NVIDIA and Intel on their accelerator architectures. What we are doing is enabling a seamless point of view right from core, uh, from the cloud to core to the edge for these models which are getting generated in the cloud uh, through, you know, be it the uh, bigger hyperscalers. When they create these models, but these models have to be interpreted right at the edge. And that goes from utilizing other vendors, SaaS providers, you know, even clouds in different circumstances, it shows that we could bring it all together and have that conversation with customers. VMware has been a, a partner for Dell for a long time. And the idea of server virtualization, there was a real question, is server virtualization going to take away the number of, of compute resources that are required? Well, that didn't happen. In fact, the more efficient we made the individual compute problem that we could provide, the more of them we sold because it enabled such, uh, so much more stuff to do. Microsoft came out with their deep speed uh, library. We took that library and we started looking into how do you take, um, you know, minimum number of GPUs and how do you, can you uh, take that number of GPUs and start solving these very large problems. HPC on demand is executed in partnership with Intel and VMware and a company called R Systems. And we have a capability now, a cloud type capability for training those models. You could run lots of inference decisions through those models hosted in that capability as well. In software, you know, we all familiar with uh, NVIDIA's CUDA, uh, which is used for GPUs, but then you got Intel with their one API software stack. One API is in the open domain. And the third uh, area within this whole software ecosystem is uh, AMD's uh, Rockham software stack. Rockham is also uh, being, um, you know, that is tuned for a lot of the AMD CPUs and GPU part of it, uh, but more specifically just now for the AMD GPUs. And Rockham have now also been upstream into uh, your uh, top machine learning frameworks like PyTorch. So I think we're giving maximum flexibility for developers, for practitioners, for model trainers, and so on. And in uh, through partnerships and through our plans, the ability to host that kind of result as well.